Yo, what's up everyone, Ufo here, and today we are going to go from 0 points all the way up to 6,000 points, aka Champions League. You guys can see here, this is the point system. As we move up divisions, we start to get more and more bus fare. And yes, our goal is just to reach Champions League Division 8, 6,000 points. And I thought I would bring you guys along for the journey. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, make sure you guys leave a like. Leaving a like always really helps out the videos. Plus, I always really appreciate it also while you are down there if you could subscribe that'd be awesome and yeah without any further delay let's hop into it obviously to get to 6,000 points you can't do that in one game you have to play multiple games so i'm going to probably do this like highlights after this we should be contender not going to lie the players are very new to the game if i'm completely honest with you i've kind of just been on like cruise control like i haven't been full sweating i haven't been try hard and i've just been you know doing a bit of damage to them running over there pushing everyone i see Oh, yikes. Anyway, it's a 1v1. Oh, there we go. We found him. He's confident. Look at him go. Okay, yeah. He's a bit, like, more... You know, we actually need to try a bit. Oh, one big mistake, though. He has a charge. And that's GG. Ooh, 10 kills. Okay, we're now in Contender League. Going to be honest with you, Open League was very casual, I would say. Anyway, first game in Contender League. Let's do this. I'm going to be honest with you as well. I'm not going for wins. I'm just going for W key games. I'm getting all my points from W key and people. In solos, a kill is worth 20. That is so many points. Oh, by the way, for you guys that don't know, yeah, this dude's in here just chilling, eating pizza. He uh, emotes and he doesn't shoot you unless you... Oh, shoot him. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, I think, like, he's out of the job. Bro, 10 people alive and we actually made it to half zone. The lobby's slowly getting better. It's now 1v1, me versus this guy. Honestly, just go group ball to heal. He's high ground, I'm low ground. Honestly, it was dumb of me to jump down. Buddy, you really just go spray your... Yo, the fact this guy's tactic is LMG, spray, 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 is not, um, you know, ideal, but there we go, we won. 12 limbs. I mean, like I said, the big thing there is we actually had a moving zone. Let's keep going. We are now in Contender League Division 7. This means we now get 40 bus fare, and we are so close to getting to champions one league away very quickly i'll show you guys my log and you guys can see here i've been having amazing success an 11 kill win a 5 kill fourth place one elimination eighth place and a nine elimination first place being super successful we're just going to hopefully continue this to champions league all righty so we are now 42 points away from champs we're going to ready up hopefully hit champs here and very quickly i'll show you guys my replays and honestly the key here is consistency you guys are seeing i'm always getting top 25 and i'm always getting a few limbs i'm not able to obviously win every single game but just getting top 5 top 15 top 25 it adds up and it's huge and you know consistency is key when it comes to arena so being only 42 points away we should hit it here and yeah i'll show you guys the tactic that i've been doing so you see that plane over there yeah that's a very key component of my tactic so to hit champs i need like 90 points from this game we're going to land sweaty sweaty is a good drop like sometimes you get spawn fights and you know that's just a free kill most of the time going to be really honest as well my plan for this game is actually just to hit champs, and then W key everyone as well. Important decision here, do I drop a slurp fish for three minis? And I think the answer is yes. But yo, something to always keep in mind in arena games is look where the zone is. Zone is super far away from me and the zone's about to start closing in. And this is where I carry floppers. So the weird thing about Fortnite is you're actually safer in the storm. If you're in the storm, you're less likely to die, less likely there's going to be an enemy next to you kind of thing, and less likely you can get W keyed. So having some white health really helps. Okay, so now we've taken out all the robots, we get a laser gun. I showed in a video recently how overpowered this gun is. There's also a chest on the ship, some chug splashes for them. I'm just gonna use them. And yeah, really important first 
step, getting top 25. Top 25 is 60 points, but there's only 40 for Division 7. So getting the top 25, you guarantee you made 20 points that game. You might be thinking to yourself, 20 points isn't a lot, but it adds up. Arena is all about slow and steady wins the race. And really, Arena is just about how much time you also put into it. Now, I'm about to upgrade and sidegrade this pump. And honestly, this is a pretty standard loadout for me. It's normally purple pump this zappy laser gun white heels minis and normally i have crash pads but you know right now i have a sniper i normally like having mobility in my last slot just to get out of sticky situations and speaking of crash pads hello next zone super far away literally other side of the map this is why having a car is really important mobility there's someone there don't shoot me he's going to shoot me go to zone he's boxing up he's an idiot so here's the thing as well like at this level is everyone's kind of a Okay. You obviously get good and bad players still, but the average player in this lobby will probably hit a shot. It's just sometimes they're kind of brain dead like that guy. And that's why I say always get top 25 first. Whoa, there's a guy right there. I didn't even see that dude. Honestly, we can just tag him to be annoying. Laser gun does like 50 damage, which is super annoying for people. That's why we do have some cabbages here, so I don't worry about storm again. And we have the fool and teddy bears over here, which actually means we get a free launch pad pretty much. So yeah, we should just be chilling. And there's top 25. Okay, we're fine. Top 15 means we get champs or two kills. Out of the two options, going to be honest with you here, top 15 is easier. There we go. Champs. Easy. Because we're in champs, we now W key. Let's go. Instantly hit that guy. Bro, he needs the points more than me. You can tell. Bro, doing that exploit is so good. Oh, I just got sniped. There's no way, dude. Brody, leave me alone. Bro, that's why you carry crash pads. Get out of that situation right there. Holy, that's my woo. Bro, what is happening? Going to be honest with you, probably shouldn't be alive. And I'm going to probably die here. Yep, there we go. It's whatever. We back out. We're champions. Easy. But yo, when you're in Division 7, like I said, everyone you're going to be playing against is good in some way. Whether it's building, mechanics, whatever. So playing consistently is the best way to go about it if you want to get to champs quickly. And of course, when you're in champs, you can just do whatever you want. But yo, that's been my journey to champs. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have, make sure you guys give a like. Of course, subscribe if you have not already. Let me know in the comment section how many points you're on. And as always, make sure you guys take care, brush your hair, and peace out. Woo!